I'm sick of it. You're pinching down your kicking it, his nose is bleeding out, and yet you're all so quick with it. I'm sick of it. Lost the fight in the thick of it, reputation's on the line, and yet he just was cricking it. I'm sticking it. This information in your head, he's now at the ground, lost blood, broken leg, soaking wet, choking sweat. He hopes to beg for mercy, the bully feels no regret. He's in the position to start praying, start wishing. In his vision, sees the bully say, Stop, the bully won't listen. Rip, crunch, pal. The bully broke his nose. Big punch out. The blood soaks his clothes. Swipe of the hand. The bully chokes his throat. The boy froze to the floor, fell like dominoes. He screams, he sprints from creature with bite. He yells for help, but there's no teacher in sight. Rip crunch pow The bully broke his nose Big punch out The blood soaks his clothes Swipe of the hand The bully chokes his throat Rip crunch pow The bully broke his nose Big punch out The blood soaks his clothes Swipe of the hand The bully chokes his throat You think that this horror scene is quite rest Look at this quarantine, the stop kids from scare Listen to the chorus, it's right there Yeah, cause this can often be seen in schools, be aware Rip crunch out, the bully broke his nose Big punch out, the blood soaks his clothes Swipe with the hand the bully chokes Get his throat, the, the boy throws to the floor, fell like Donald Hey, how's it going? Echosaur's the name. This ain't something I'd normally do, because rapping really ain't my game. But hey, I'll give it a shot, you know? And if it ends in pain, then yeah, forget this happened and everything can just stay the same. When you clicked on this, my friend, I would assume you expected a song, or maybe a poem, a story, or speech. Well, newsflash, you're wrong. See, my rapping skills, they ain't strong. See, your time I'm not gonna prolong. But let's just pretend that I know what I'm doing and you guys can just play along. So I guess I gotta admit, what? I don't intend to quit. Wow. I'm in it to win it. Ain't gonna throw off it. Rhyme so legit that you know they ain't counterfeit. Only predictable thing is my out of it. Usually people will call me a hypocrite. Swear I'm not expecting this one to be a hit. Wanted to enter, so I went and did it. Chill out. My apologies there. I seem to have gotten carried away. I'll get straight back onto the topic without so much as a delay. Actually, now that I mention it, what was I trying to say? I'm stuck for ideas, but I've got more options than an all-you-can-eat buffet. Of course, I could mention politics, but it'll just start conflicts. Already gonna get bullied for this, but I'd rather there was a quick fix. Right then, there's some things that I haven't yet addressed. So here's some stuff that I want to get off of my chest. I suppose I could just end it there, but I'm not really done yet. There's so many things in this country that just make me feel upset. Usually something to do with the lingering pandemic threat, but in the meantime, why not? I'll play clarinet. <laughs> Country's in a mess and I'm not meaning to digress I'm still just trying to process our blatant lack of any success I mean, who are they trying to impress? We've got infections in the excess It's not gonna get any better unless we go and honestly start to express The data they've been trying to manipulate Instead of giving us facts straight, things never seem to be up to date You won't get sick if you lose weight I'm tired, uninspired, my hopes have long since expired I follow rules as required and somehow it's all backfired As you can tell, I'm moderately stressed once again, this country has left me less than unimpressed, and so they say my grades are going to be teacher-assessed. If you ask me, that sounds like an excuse to make us do extra tests.
Hello, I'm Danny. I've been asked to choose the winner for the Chawton High School songwriting competition. Um, I've got four songs I've been given. Um, so I'm going to go through those songs here and tell you my winner. Uh, the first one was Cameron Davis' Abandoned Beat. Um, the song really cool, really love like, the eerie vibe of it. It's quite, I just don't imagine like a dark forest sort of thing. <laughs> it, was that sort of, it gives that eerie Halloween-y sort of vibe. I, it was really cool. I uh, really like the use of like, the snare rolls and the hi-hat rolls. All the sounds were really good as well. Uh, nicely mixed. Sounds really cool. Um, I love the way the, the beat progressed as well. Um, really interesting. Um, the only thing I would say was the intro was completely different to the rest of the song. And there's two ways you can look at that. For me, it's not something I would personally do. Um, I, I, I would have used maybe similar instrumentation in the intro that may have come in later to be like, oh, that's what's coming up later, and then put it in. Um, it just seemed like it was two different ideas that were sort of forced together. But, I mean, if that was your idea to do like a sort of A and B, then you nailed it, you smashed it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's a personal preference thing. That's It's not, n neither right nor wrong, that one. But, yeah, really like that track, really interesting, really great. Uh, next one was Daryl with Funky Disco. I was really impressed when I, first, I had the headphones on for this one. And it sounds incredible. It sounds like, it reminds me of like early Calvin Harris. Um, I mean, I'm talking like 2006. Calvin Harris, uh, which is really cool. I, I, it's not the sort of music I listen to, so it, it's probably still knocking around these sort of days. But uh, yeah, like really love like the side chain compression you had going on, like the pumping and stuff. It's really, really well done. Um, the only thing I would say with that pumping is just be careful of it. Sometimes it can be quite intense. If you do it too much, it was like a doon doon, and it was borderline and on intense. I could, I like, like four minutes was probably the right time, but if it was going on longer, it'd be you might need to tame that out just so it's easier to listen to. But again, that was on my headphones in my room. That it could be completely different in like a club or like loudspeakers somewhere. It, like if you were mixing for that, I'm sure it'd sound a lot better. Um, love the piano melodies coming in as well. That was really great. Uh, the, my my um, notes on this one, like maybe the changes between the sections could have been a bit slicker. So maybe like the use of filters or something. So rather than going like doom, doom, like have it so it goes, ooh, so it's more of like a smoother fade into it. Just so, just so they, they all blend in together nicer. Um, but again, that's a personal preference. Uh, you smashed it. I think that, that, was really, that was a really great mix on that one. Um, next one was Kit and Isaac with I'm Sick of It. Uh so I think I recognised the, the start of the melody, but it changed uh, with the harpsichord, which was really cool. And this, it was completely different. What, what I loved about this was the two voices together. I found they worked really well together and one was providing like the verse and there was a hook, like the singing and the rapping. It was really cool, um, really great lyrics. Um, and I felt like the arrangement of the song actually went with the story and the lyrics of the song. So towards the end of it, it was getting quite lethargic, like, you know, I'm sick of it. And then it felt like, it was like sort of drifting with the song, which was really cool. I don't know if that was intentional, but you smashed it. Um, my note on this one was literally just watch out the, on the velocity of a, of a harp score because it was one note that was must have been louder than the rest of it. It was like the first note was like... Da, 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 da. So it just needs to be smoothing out just because it was peaking out a little bit too much. Um, from a mixed standpoint, maybe you could have just put distortion on it. Sorry. I just put distortion on everything though. But yeah, um, really cool. Re really like the way they go together. Like the flow of the lyrics. Uh, nice nice delivery. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, the last one was Tyler, which I love the video. Big fan. Um, and anything with a clarinet solo, I'm all for. Um, it almost reminded me of like, Scroobius Pip. I don't know if you know Scroobius Pip. He did an album with... Uh, he's done a few albums with Dan Lassac. Really cool. Uh, the, the vocal delivery was reminding me of that. And it was quite nice use to flows and stuff like that. I don't know if you're a rapper usually, but it, it was interesting. I really enjoyed listening to that. And the dubs as well. Like He did like a sort of... The, the overdub, the vocal overdub was really cool. And uh, you also get bonus points for the cat picture. Uh, just I saw the cat and I was like, yes, all for that. Uh, so now it's time for me to announce the winner. It's very difficult. They're all great tracks. I'm super impressed. <laughs> like you're, you're about 15 years younger than me and creating music. I, I couldn't do and I've been doing it for about 15 years. So uh, longer than that. So um, yeah, really impressed. Well done. All of you smashed it. Um, my winner is Kit and Isaac with I'm Sick of It. Um, there's a few reasons. Uh, but I, I really just enjoyed the arrangement of the song with the two voices together. Um, and 
yeah, I really like that sort of style of music. So it's, again, it's a personal preference, but that that was my winner. Um, yeah, absolutely smashed it though. Uh, I'd love to hear like a if you get in the studio to record those vocals properly, that'd be really cool. But yeah, hope that's okay. Take care of yourselves and uh, see you soon.